Hello everybody, this is Rookie Ace. In today's movie, we'll be going over the pros and cons of the two main tail gun types currently found in Rise of Flight, the uh, Lewis gun and the Parabellum MG-14. Okay, so here I am on the airfield in my Aircode DH-4. And you can see on the back I've got a nice little pair of twin Lewis machine guns. So let's go over the cons first. Alright, I'm in the tail position here. And uh, first of all, the Lewis guns have smaller ammo magazines than do the Parabellum. So there's about 97 rounds, if I'm not mistaken, in each of these circular clips here. So not much to work with. You've got to make your shots count. Another thing is that the Lewis gun seems to jam or misfire quite frequently. Uh, I'll demonstrate it for you here. I'm going to start firing the guns, and uh, before you know it, there you go. The right hand gun has jammed. So you'll want to have that reload rearm key handy if you're going to be a gunner using Lewis's. Um, uh, some of the pros, however, are that the Lewis gun has a better range of fire, in my opinion, than does the Parabellum. So you see, you can do all this normally in the Parabellum, but once you get to about this high, you can't go any higher in the Parabellum. With the Lewis gun, however, you can get a full 90 degrees. Um, you can see right here I've got the guns pointed straight up. This is very useful if you're getting bounced uh, from above by a bandit who knows what he's doing. Um, also, if you're in a really tight turn, as a gunner you can kind of aim straight up and fire into enemies coming broadside at you. So yes, this is a very definite pro for the Lewis gun. Okay, so now I've switched over to a German two-seater, uh, Roland. And you can see on the back, it has a nice pair of twin Parabellum machine guns. So, let's go back to the tail turret and discuss the pros and cons. Uh, we'll start with the cons first. Okay, so first of all, the Parabellum machine gun turrets have a smaller field of fire than do the Lewis ones. You can see I'm able to move in a full circle like normal. But then let's try and uh, move the guns up. So we're good so far. We're going. We're going. Oh! And we've stopped. We'd like to go further, especially if we're getting attacked from above, but we can't. Let's see that in external views. Aha! That's exactly as high as we're going to be able to get with the Parabellums. Um, this is definitely a con, so uh, the German two-seaters, I would say, are definitely more vulnerable to being attacked uh, from above at an angle like this, because they simply can't push the guns up far enough to hit enemies. Uh, that definitely is uh, not good if you're a tail gunner. Um, some of the pros, however, are a larger ammo clip. I believe each of these circular drums for the Parabellum will hold about 250 rounds, so that is a huge plus. And uh, in my opinion, I think the turret actually moves faster side to side than does the Lewis gun. I know it weighs less, so this is very useful if you have bandits going from side to side on you, or if they're coming in at an angle and then swooping past, you can really come in and get a nice shot at them. So there you have the uh, pros and cons of both the Lewis gun and the Parabellum.